everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm going to talk today about reborn doll therapy and mental health, my mental health in particular. I will comment, put some comments in the description just in case anybody feels triggered by anything that I say today. I hope you don't. It all relates to me and how I feel. If you um, would like to, please share a comment as well in the video. Thanks. Oh, here we are with this little man. Doesn't he look cute in a little Dumbo uh, romper, baby grill, whatever you want to call it. It is very cute. So I've got him down on the mat today. He's been playing, hasn't he, little man? It seems really funny that um, a lot of people say that he looks like Jack, which is my grandson, if you are um, not aware. And um, yeah, a lot of people say he looks like Jack. Well, can you remember when we saw him? Well, I didn't see him first. Sheena saw him first at the doll show. And um, she said, oh my God, there's a baby that looks like Russ. Oh, I'm going to mind that way. There's a baby that looks like Russ. Come and have a look at him. And oh my God, he does look like Russ. So I called him William anyway, which is Russ's son's name, <laughs> funnily enough. But he looks like a William. Don't you think he looks like a William? <laughs> oh. Why is his dad go really light on you, mate? Hey, they don't know. We're not putting any light, lightness on him. But anyway, we, I did do a box opening and I got him in October. And oh my God, I'm so thrilled with him. I absolutely do love him. And um, he is by Sue Reynolds, who is the same artist as Molly. And I hope she'll be at the doll show in um february hint hint nudge nudge look at his lovely fat chunky legs look at it i just love it it's like the sign of a healthy baby when they're chunky not to say that thin babies are poorly i did have one of my children was really thin when she was little and she had really bad asthma undiagnosed until she stopped breathing just before her first birthday she stopped breathing her dad went up to um to check on her and because uh, she'd had a fitful day I think and dad went up to check on her and she was actually he brought her down and she was blue um she went to hospital and various things and they asked me what I thought and I said I think she's got asthma the way she breathes and everything her dad and her her dad suffered really really badly with asthma as does um some of his family so anyway it turned out she had asthma she was a thin baby. She always looked sickly and poorly. Now, yeah, that might fit you then, mate. I just looked for this. Um, I love these old terry toweling vests. I'm just waiting for his bottle to cool down. And then I'm going to talk about mental health and reborn dolls. Because if you saw, I did a lot of uploading over Christmas and then nothing for nothing for a few days. And um, so I just thought that I'd share my thoughts on that. Right, little fella. He's a good boy getting dressed, isn't he? Oh, it's just about fitting, Mum. Won't fit me for much longer. If I keep drinking all my milks, will it, hey? Oh. We don't want it too straining, do we? But we need to be able to move. Woo! Can you move? Yay! I can move, Mummy. I can move. You can move, my darling, can't you? I'm going to put him on this um, 101 Dalmatian outfit. And oh gosh, I bought this when I had Alistair. So was that this time last year? The year before? I can't remember. Had this set here for a long time. And um, I did offer it to Sam, but Sam doesn't like the velour material, the feel of it. So I brought it back home and I didn't really think it would suit William, but actually it does. He has worn it before. 
You're a good boy there, aren't you? Hey. Emily sat at my feet in front of the fire. So we've got the fire lit today. And we're very lucky we don't have the weather that a lot of people have got over the world. So we've just got a cold, frosty day today. There we go. It's white with all the Dalmatians all over it. Long sleeve onesie. And then the socks I got out are too big. They're socks I thought were his, but turns out the heel is right at the back, so <laughs> they're not his. So never mind. Never mind. And he has been down here enjoying a bit of time. A bit of time playing, having a bit of bit of time on the floor, haven't you? Say not tummy time yet. He's not too keen on tummy time. But say that's okay because I'm a bit too small, really. Oh, this is just fitting you, mate. You've got to stop growing. This is not to three months. You have got to stop growing. Yes, you do. I'm sure this is the one that I bought, like last year, last year, or whenever I had Alistair. Anyway, I could be wrong because I'm often quite wrong on things like that. But there, he actually looks really cute in any colour. He really does look cute in any colour. There, <laughs> my socks. My socks are so big. My socks are so big. There, look. So, can you see the camera now? Can you see into the camera? Yeah. Yeah, I can see into the camera. You like this toy, don't you? You like the black and white. Hey, you like this toy? Yeah. Oh, I need to get a bib. I don't think I've got. A, I think I've got a muslin here that I can use. To give you a bop bop. Should we get your bot bot now then, mate? Yeah. Come on, man. got a plain, oh we're not quite that plain, Tommy Tippy blue bottle. These are not my favourites, Munchkin Latch are my favourites. Let's see if that fluff up has come off the, the tea towel where I just washed it off. Yeah it's got a little stars and moon, maybe it, maybe it glows in the dark or something. <laughs> anyway, here we go mate. Are you ready? Are you ready to have this? There you go. Right. Make sure I don't get them off. There we go. That's it. See you off a bit. Good boy. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk a bit about, make sure I'm recording. <laughs> I'm actually Jackie and I was recording then. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about mental health and reborn doll therapy. I do have a reborn doll therapy playlist, which I'll add into the description. But this is more specifically about Christmas and me. So um, I know that we all have the um, reborns for all different reasons. And mine has hugely to do with being um, an empty nester. So I'm 55 now. And my youngest daughter is 29. She's coming up. She's 28 at the moment. She's coming up to 29. And um, has been out of the house 10 years maybe, which is about how long I've had reborns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it is easy to see why I really miss my children when they're young. Um, I miss doing all the mum things with them. You know, I really, I wanted a lot of children. 
I didn't get a lot of children. I did want a lot of children. But, um, but yeah, so I suffered really badly with empty nest syndrome. And it is a real thing. And don't let anybody try and poo-poo it. I was bereft because it's like, what is my role? Um, not only at that time was that just my children leaving home, it was also my dad had died, our house had got flooded, um, I'd had a nervous breakdown, had to leave my job, so I'd just gone from being a real busy person to being nothing in my mind. And um, so I particularly notice um, it in like holiday time, so in the summer holidays, you know, when you're see lots of families in that around and I just like oh, I just want that again or you see um you know at Christmas all the fun things you do with children at Easter all the th fun things you do with children I miss doing all of that and of course I was a teacher as well <laughs> you see my little girl come on then she's much better by the way just thought I'd add that in come on then you can do it that's it go on yes there you go so um there she is feeling much better aren't you Hey, so we got rid of the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My girl, aren't you? <laughs> My old girl is 14 next month. Wow. Bless her. Anyway, um, yeah, and so I particularly notice it in those at those times, and Christmas is kind of like was the worst, really. Um, is the worst because I loved all the, so if you look in my playlist from Christmases you will see that I do do a lot with the reborns if you you've done a little bit there say mum pay attention to me I'm sorry darling <laughs> um, so you know just like decorating the Christmas cake and and going to the crib service and making Christmas crafts and so that is why I had to upload every day. And the fact that people watch every day would suggest to me as well that people enjoy watching that. Um, it gives them their own memories back, helps them. Um, and it also must help people to feel not alone because by me uploading, like I know a lot of YouTubers go, oh, I'm doing this for you. I'm uploading this for you. Well, I'm uploading it for us, okay? I'm uploading it for me because it's my hobby. So, and that is fulfilling a need in me is to do these videos and upload them and share. And then for those of you who want to watch, I hope they help you and bring you some light in your life. Um, so... I'm not just doing it for you, I'm doing it for me. And I think it's really wrong for people to say, I'm just uploading this for you. I don't agree with that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm a grumpy old lady now, I'm 55, all right? Even worse than I was at 54. <laughs> I changed overnight. But no, seriously, um, I get you, I know you're like, thank you for sharing, Caroline, thank you for sharing. And I appreciate that. But you also must think about what you give to me by leaving me a comment. There are times when I can't um, reply to comments because I've had so much busyness with people that I need to go back into myself for a few days to recover. Um, I'm too peopled out, if that makes sense. Um, as I grew up, a, very, a girl that um, had to be quiet, um, very much on my own and so you learn that that is your way and and I didn't know enough about myself probably in my 20s to even know that that's what I needed um there you go should we try some more so at Christmas I just want to say thank you very much for helping me out and then by by um not getting irritated with me when I don't upload then for a few more days because I peopled out so that would have been like last week for instance um I was went out Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and Friday I was just like I'm not leaving my bed <laughs> I'm lucky that I didn't leave my bed because I came out to let Millie out I have to get a cup of coffee because I still need the coffee 
you know, so I do need, but what I mean is I don't, I tell myself and my calendar I'm having a bed day and that's what I do. I just didn't have the energy anyway. I don't have the energy to speak to anybody. And for some people, like, it's just like, oh, responding to a text is just respond to it. I see you read it and you don't respond. I just don't want a conversation. <laughs> I'm just too tired. And I know there are so many of you that can relate to that. And so whilst it on oh, Christmas, it seemed like I had a lot of energy. It was a lot of running on adrenaline because it was Christmas and, and it, I get hyper and <laughs> because I do have personality disorder. And um, we have multiple personalities and they all get excited for different times. So um, they all need to recover as well. And, you know, when a little one needs to sleep, they need to sleep. And yeah, but it was busy. And I also noticed like last year, the last half of last year, I just felt so under the weather, just so tired, constantly tired and under the weather. And now I don't know if that is to do with the fact that I wasn't resting enough because I'm not a good rester, particularly when I have fibro and now I'm not a good rester and I should be resting more, but I just want to do things. <laughs> I just want to do more things because, you know, the um, I was told I would be in a wheelchair by now and I'm not. And I think that's what, why I do things because I don't ever want, to, don't want to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> You know, it's so life limited. Um, life limiting, I don't mean in age, I mean in ability. And, uh, and I feel so, so sad for people that, you know, have to be in their wheelchairs and they're indoors. And, but then lots of us have chronic illnesses and we can't get out anymore. I'm going to dig myself even more of a hole talking about that, aren't I? So I don't want to talk about that anymore because <laughs> I don't want to get into an argument <laughs> with anybody in the comments. Um, I Yeah, so that is why. So for me to be able to just do little 10 minute videos and upload them just, just gave me another focus on something for me as well. Something that got that little depressed part of me was able to do something and get it out. And um, thank you. So thank you for just being there when I need you. And I know that this is, it's really strange having a, vir a virtual um, community, family, if you like. But in this day and age, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Apart from, yes, we don't know. We don't know who's who, do we? Um, always. I do get um, encouraged, though, when people say, oh, Caroline, you're just like you are on the screen. <laughs> and I don't know how to be any other way. I don't know how to be any other way. I know that they use filters. I use my phone. I'm not, I'm not looking for filters. This is fun. This is not. <laughs> this is just, you know, fun for me. So that was over Christmas was really, really helpful. I really needed to do that. And also that was a little bit of me time because I, you know, you do stuff for everybody else, make sure everybody else has a really good time. And then you've got your own time. Where, does you, where do you fit in? So that gave me my bit of time as well for me. So, yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you all being here and watching and listening. And so I'm videoing this today. I've also um, videoed box packing today. Um, that'll be up once mummy receives her baby. Iced coffee today. I wasn't intending to, this to be a coffee in a chat, but I am drinking iced coffee. <laughs> Caramel latte, rich and creamy. It was actually supposed to be a skinny latte, but the delivery, they didn't have any. I got this on delivery. So. It's so nice because it's not skinny. <laughs> he is a good boy. You don't want no more of that? Your resistance. 
resistance. You don't want no more of that? You did drink a good part of it though, didn't you? Hey, He's very good at bringing up his wind to look at him. He is just so cute. Aren't you? I'm so glad I got Reborns. I'm so glad I found Reborns. So I'm so more relaxed with the Reborns. <laughs> Hey, aren't we? So my agendas, my big, um, my big thing on my list for upcoming is to sort out hillside. Hillside is my little she shed down the garden. It's not she, not Russ hates it when I say shed because he envisions a shed to be a rickety shed, and <laughs> it's not that. It's a garden room. When you search for it on the internet, it's called the garden room. But I just think, to me, that just, for me, for Caroline, where I come from, that's a bit pretentious. It definitely is more than a she shed. It's more like, um, yeah, a garden room, but like a, a conservatory garden room. I mean, garden room just sounds incredibly posh to me, and I'm not incredibly posh. <laughs> um, and it's lovely, but it is very crowded. It's very crowded. If I took you down there now, you would be horrified. It is crowded, literally because I've done nothing since before Christmas in there. And so poor Bert, <laughs> Bert is my little, is a little bear who lives in there and he's not happy with me. He's been making eyes at Daisy across the room and I've done nothing to facilitate that. So he's not happy. But I want to give it a complete like overhaul inside. So that is, and when I do things, I think about them for a long time. So I don't just like go ahead and do it straight away. I always think, think it through. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, that'll do. And I'll, maybe I can do that. But so the process, I have been thinking about this now for a few months. So once I get down there, we will get started, won't we? Hey. Um, what else am I doing? So I'm out tomorrow. Wednesday's a day at home. Thursday. Oh, I'm going to We Sell For You on Thursday. So that should be a good video. I'm going with my daughter though. I probably won't take a reborn. I don't know. I might take might take William because I'm driving my own car. So we could fit the push chair in. But we have an exciting delivery today. Oh yeah, you see my head spin around there. Woo, we have an exciting delivery of our high chair coming today. Because Jack now sits in a high chair. So I bought one half price off of John Lewis. And um, so that is coming today. That is exciting. We also have um, a new push chair that fits in the car. We do. Yes, we do. It's going to be, it's a modern push chair that folds down super small and it'll fit in the car. So I have that too. Um, but I am thinking today of bringing up one from down in Hillside because I do like to get out my my older prams, um, push chairs and have them up here for a bit. Have different ones now up here. So I will do that. Look at him looking at you. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Are you very happy what you're staring at the camera? Are you staring at yourself? Yeah? Oh, you're such a cutie, aren't you? Right, well, it is lunchtime now, so I'm going to edit this together and get it uploaded. So, we'll see you in the next video.